good afternoon ladies and gentlemen i want to throw some light regarding the meeting held yesterday with the ceos of uh, uaag subscribers i really was in that meeting and i look at he listened to apostle ken from all side listens to his uh, spokesperson Obinwabo, listen to a lot of them and even listen to the ceos the kind of things they are coming coming out from their mouth is really shocking to me that it's like when nigerians are actually looking for money there is some part of their senses that are shut down why because they are eager to make money or get money that they don't deserve in that meeting apostle ken spoke emotionally he spoke with all sense of will i say um emotional blackmail to those ceo and there are certain questions the ceo we are not asking and it shocked me to know that most of these CEO are even men of God or are connected to clergy activities. But there are things that I expect a clergyman, somebody who read and understands the Bible, somebody who is even a pastor, supposed to voice out. When he heard another person saying something, making a claim, he supposed, these CEOs are supposed to say something that um, bring out a clear picture of what Apostle Ken claims to be. Now, for instance, Apostle Ken was calling this AGPGN um, grant. He was calling it UAAG grant. That the AGPGN are not allowing him to um, disburse a, a UAAG grants. He was even calling himself a country director. Obi Wabu was even calling him the country director. Now, the question is this. This grant that is about to be disbursed, that we are having so much controversy about, is this UAAG grant? Is this UAAG grant? Apostle Ken claimed that UAAG, he is the facilitator of UAAG grant. This UAAG grant came from Mamarita, and Mamarita had him as a nurse of king to the UAAG grant. That's the Mamarita grant, which is a letter called UAAG grant. This UAAG grant has his name, has the name, his name in the document. So how is it that, how is it that now it is AGPGN that is facilitating the grant Apostle Ken has his name attached to the document? How come? There was even a point Apostle Ken even came up to voice that and um, they said that his name has been removed. I don't understand that aspect. You are the person next of king. You have your name in the document of this grant. How is it that your name is later removed and somebody like the AGPGN who, who didn't know the genesis of this grant now have their name uh, have your name removed from um, 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 those people that would disburse these grants? That's my question number one. How come? Secondly, how is it that a grant that is meant for an NGO, it is federal government that is now coordinating the disbursement of that grant? I don't understand that aspect. I don't understand how comes federal government, government government federal government of a country is now coordinating the activities of a non-governmental organization i don't understand how it comes i don't know i don't understand what's transpired to the point that the government are now championing the activities of this grant i don't understand because i've worked in an organization where they have uh, they do with grants they are dependent on donor grants to run that organization for the past 20 years I have never heard, I've been working with them. I have never had that federal government in any way interfere in their grants. I've never had that federal government mediated. Federal government gave a say on their, I've never had. 
even though that grant has something to do with the ministry but the ministry has in any way have not in any way championed that grant that disbursement of the grant or the, the use of that grant money they have never it's only in uag falsehood disbursement that you hear federal governments are the one coordinating the grant i don't understand and the ceos are not asking this kind of question now my third question is this Joshafat have thrown into the public space for partners to partner with mamarita grants using the ngo saint rita heroes life foundation of which this is the saint rita, rita heroes life foundation can claim that secure a grant and they put his name in the documents that is the saint rita heroes life foundation that is now facilitating the grants and ken is not there now ken is now um attaching himself looking for space you hear some information here by is the agpgn that put him into the grant disbursement uh, uh, team is the agpgn that put him into the team members of those that will disburse the grant whereas it is that one that is being championed by ambassador joe shepherd that they claim in the first uh, 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 in, in the early part of this uaag saga they claim that it was mamarita that secured it and ken's name is in the document that is the one that is being championed by um, um ambassador joe shepherd now our ceo we are in that meeting they had some they've known they've been following this grant from the beginning and they now are beginning to see some information and we are not aligning at all none of them open their mouth to ask questions even those that carry the title pastor apostle reverend bishop especially someone like bishop angara that was there i wonder if this man is not thinking I wonder he, if this man was a roadside bishop. How did he become a bishop? There's some critical happening in the ground that you're supposed to use your 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 elderhood, your your age in the happenings of things to vet some things that come to your way, especially in this grand space none of them they were busy hailing apostle ken they were busy praying for apostle ken they were busy saying some things to encourage apostle ken they have never asked apostle ken critical questions regarding this grant rather they stood up they are fighting against agpgn it baffles me because i look at this whole thing that something is fishy something is fishing but i want to advise apostle ken one thing if you know apostle ken if you know that you have issues with agpgn go to agpgn and sort your issues you don't need to come to meet ceos you don't need to come and meet ceos and begin to explain emotionally explain some things so that you cut them into your web of emotion and carry them along sway them into deception if you have issues with agpgn go straight to agpgn have a meeting agpgn are not older than you agpgn are not um strong-headed than you they are not hard-hearted if you have issues with agpgn go straight to agpgn have a meeting with them arrive at a common ground that's my advice for you if you know you are right if you know you are honest if you know your hands are clean go to agpgn sit with them have a meeting and sort your issues with them because we are not telling us all the story you don't don't make us a judge over matters we don't know i can't come and judge a matter that i don't know i can't come and speak on on, on behalf on your behalf on issues you didn't tell me the whole truth because from voices from information that are flying out there are other side of this story that you are not saying there are other information 
that we are yet to hear from you and we cannot at our level we cannot stand up and begin to bargain into an incomplete story where there are many issues that are, that were never told about to ken my advice for you is to sort your issue with agpgn not with the not with the ceos thank you